Hey everybody, so I try to do a fall trip up to the mountains every year just because I like taking pictures and fall leaves make really good subjects. So I decided to head back up to Little Lakes Valley. I know I go there every year, but it's one of the more scenic hikes in uh, the Sierra Nevadas and it's actually pretty easy. So if you're trying to find an easy hike to take people, I highly recommend this one. Although there's already a ton of people that go there, so don't expect it to be peace and quiet, to be honest. So this view is a pretty good example of why I go back every year. It just looks different. If you remember from last year, the mountains were actually pretty snow-capped. This year it looked fairly dry, and that's because the winter just wasn't that intense this year. So as you can see, there definitely was fish in that stream, and I thought about fishing them, but there's just too many people around, and I wanted to get up to the campsite and set up. So if you watch my older videos, you'll know this is Box Lake, and I like camping around that lake. Decided to head back to Long Lake to fish because last year I had pretty good success using my spay rod or I think it was my trout spay rod. This year I brought my single handed spay three weight and wanted to chuck some small streamers just in case there were some cruising browns around. Although here you can see I started out with the dry fly just because I saw a bunch of brookies rising. So I actually fished pretty hard and didn't get much more action. I might have caught one more that didn't film. So I decided to switch to my Tenkara rod. And there I got, I think, one or two. But it definitely wasn't as action-packed as last year. So I decided to head back towards Box Lake and fish the creek. This fish actually turned out to be the fish of the trip just because uh, it was like in full spawning colors. And... It was probably the biggest one I caught, at least, at least in this creek it was. Not sure about on the lake. I actually fished uh, my way back around Box Lake, the whole shoreline, and this was all the way at the opposite end. And didn't really have much action. I'm not sure what was up this year, but... I guess that's why they call it fishing. So the only fish I caught, I think, that evening was at this spot. And just because it's me, it started raining right after I caught this fish. So next morning I decided to play around with the time-lapse feature of my cell phone. Just plopped it on a tree and pointed at the mountains. Turned out pretty good, I thought. Headed down to the water and it was super glassy. Although there was one section which you can see right here in the other side that looked kind of wavy and it. It's kind of trippy, like the whole lake was still and then that one section had some motion. So after a while of spay casting, I went back to single-handed fly casting, and I think this was a dry dropper. I ended up catching this next fish, but again, not as much success as I had in previous years, and part of it might be I've kind of started doing all kinds of niche
casting, like spade casting, ten car rods, and I don't really change my method. I just force what I'm using. So maybe something for next year, I might try to go back to more uh, normal fly casting just so I catch more fish. Just my excuse. But anyways, um, decided to head back down the mountain, and by the time you see this, I'll probably be in Japan already, so hopefully I get some fish and some good footage and make a video about that. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.